Hello there, I'm Simple Tips, and today I'm going to be showing you how to link Adobe Muse to your FTP server. Specifically, today we'll be looking at GoDaddy. Uh, okay, let's get started. Let's jump into Muse and open our website. And while we're waiting, uh, we go to our website here, which is techmen.co.uk. This blue box here has a slight black border. Now, I've already edited it edited that out of our home page um, so I just need to upload the changes to the website so what we're going to do is we're going to go to file upload to FTP host then we're going to need the server address the username and the password if you notice off the top of your head great just pop plop them in and, and you'll be away um, now if you don't you want to go to your web host uh, in my case it's GoDaddy uh, and then you're going to want to log in for me now once you're logged in you need to go to the web hosting area and you need to click manage on that perfect okay now we're in uh, we need to go to the FTP accounts area and you want to create an FTP account if you don't already have one um, home directory uh, you need to find out what your home directory is I have another video for that and I will link that in the description but as you can see, I've already created mine, which is the public underscore HTML at techmen.co.uk. Now, if you go into the configure FTP client, um, this gives you the information you need to plug into your client machine um, for it to communicate with the FTP server. So here, we just need to plop that information over. Uh, and I'm just going to be using control C, control V, which is copy and paste. Now, as you can see, there's no options for port. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming Adobe Muse just has a catalog of servers and understands the port number or does a scan and understands it. But anyway, um, hosting password uh, here, if you know it, again, plug it in. If not, we're going to want to go to change password. Now, it's got to be quite complex. Uh, GoDaddy tell you it needs to be above 80% of their graph. Uh, but I just use uh, LastPass to generate my passwords. So we're going to plug that password in and then click Change Password. Now, FTP passwords can take a little while to update. So uh, after you've plugged it in here, if, if you find it's telling you there's an error, not to worry, wait 10 seconds, try again. We're going to click Next. If all is good, you'll see this next screen. That means the connection is established and that's connecting to FTP colon forward forward slash techmen.co.uk um, your site URL is your site so techmen.co.uk and then the folder on server that is your root directory that you want this to upload to now as I touched on before our public HTML uh, FTP account uploads to the public HTML folder um, which is also the web root and you can confirm that by going to file manager web root click and go and you can see in this public HTML folder you have all of the site files and now you've just done a quick test to confirm that is your web root and you're going to want to leave that blank because your FTP account is already specifying that folder so there's no need to modify that um, I upload modified files only uh, you can upload all files all the time you'll just find extended periods of rendering and tap OK um, and then that will find the changes that you've made to your site and then I'll begin the upload process uh, with movie magic I'll be back in a moment okay welcome back um, once that's complete uh, you want to click OK and you confirm that by saying FTP upload complete my error is because I've got a dodgy form we're going to click OK. Now we go back to our website and you can see the black box is still there. All we need to do is refresh that page and we should see it's gone. Lovely. Um, and that's it for, folks. Uh, if you've got any questions feel free to leave a comment or ping me an email and, and do check out my website techmen.co.uk. All feedback is welcome. Have a good day.